All right, I'm going to solve uh, question two from our recent assignment for you. Uh, what this is is a closed heat exchanger, so we have at least two fluids coming in or out of the heat exchanger, and they don't mix, but they do transfer heat. And so uh, if I was to draw a diagram of what that looks like, um, what we're looking at is something like this. So I have a box there. Um, I've got some surface where heat is exchanged. Uh, and I'm going to have two different fluids moving through. So I've got one fluid moving this way, let's say, and I've got another fluid. Let's say it's moving that way. And um, I'll probably call this one, um, let's say, A, and it's got some, some mass flow. And down here I've got um, fluid B, and it's got some mass flow. And so the dot means per second. Um, I'm just going to label some inlets and outlets. So uh, coming in over here would be one, leaving would be two, and I'll call this guy over here coming in three and four. Uh, I have a mass flow rate. Um, um, if you look over at the question, um, steam, uh, say five kilograms per second. Um, so uh, why don't I call that my B? kilograms per second. All right. And so here's how this works in terms of uh, the thermodynamics. So um, if we look at it this way, um, what I have is heat that's moving from one, one uh, um, side of the heat exchanger to another. And so if I quantify that, I can say that the heat that gets exchanged at A rate is going to be equal to the rate of heat at B. Um, since I have signs, positive, negative, um, what it means is the heat that's gained is equal to the heat that's lost. Um, so I'm going to add in a, a negative sign on uh, my, my Q over here. Uh, if I wrote that out in terms of what it was, um, mass flow of A times the change of enthalpy, so H two minus H one is going to be equal to negative mass flow of B times H uh, four minus H three. Um, If I write that out in terms of a ratio, um, and you can see here I've got my my negative, um, negative, so uh, eliminating that, what I get is an equation that's going to look in this form. Mass flow of A divided by my mass flow of B is going to equal my H3 minus H4 divided by H2 minus H1. The ratios of the mass flows are equal to the ratios of the enthalpies that are exchanged. So the change of enthalpy in each of the fluid is equivalent to the flow rate through each of the fluids. Um, so what I need to do is I need to go to my steam tables to figure out what my enthalpies are in order to find out my missing mass flow rate. So uh, what we're going to do is we've got an H1, we're going to need to find an H2, an H3, and an H4. Um, just going to come over to my diagram and clarify which one is which. So I've set my steam as being my mass flow of B. Uh, so um, what I had is what was coming in. Well, it came in at 600 degrees. It left at 500 degrees, so it got colder. Um, on my water side, uh, what happened is it came in at 40 degrees and it left at 80 degrees it got warmer um, so let me go to my tables so for one and two I need enthalpies at 40 and 80 uh, it's going to be in the liquid form so if I bring out my steam tables um, so at 40 degrees, um, my enthalpy is going to be represented as 
five seven and my enthalpy at 80 degrees is going to be my HF 334.91 so add that in H1 167.57 kilojoules per kilogram, H2, 334.91. Um, H3 and H4 are going to be superheated steam, so at uh, 4,000 kPa, um, I have either 600 degrees Celsius and 500 degrees Celsius. So if I bring up my steam tables and go to the superheated section, uh, you can see I'm farther down on my table, so I've just represented here 500, 600, 700 degrees. Um, what I need is at 4,000, and I need 600, and I need 500. So H3 was 3674.4. H4 was going to be 3445.3. So H3, 3674.4, H4, 3445.3. So uh, plug that into my equation. Um, my mass flow of A, which would be my feed water, divide it by my mass flow of steam, which is 5, is going to be equal to my change of enthalpy between 3 and 4, which is my steam. So uh, H3 minus H4, 3674.4 minus 3445.3. All that divided by my change of enthalpy of my feed water. So H2 minus H1. So 334.91 minus 167.57. Plug into my calculator, uh, and what we'll find is that my mass flow of A ends up being 6.8 kilograms per second, and that would be the flow of the water that's being preheated in the system.